This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. So this guy says, this ghosting situation has messed up the dating world. Burning bridges way too fast is an issue and no one will trust you after you do. So I admit I have ghosted people, but it was after seeing characteristics I didn't like and I knew I didn't want any contact with the person. But how are you going to say you like them then ghost and try to come back? It doesn't make sense. The problem is no one's holding these women ac actions accountable. And sadly, there are dudes waiting behind the phone for her text. OK, so I'll, I'll address a few things here. For starters, it's it seems kind of like contradictory because he says uh, ghosting has messed up the, the situation. And then he says, I've also ghosted, but only after seeing characteristics I didn't like and I didn't want to contact them anymore. I assure you, most women that are ghosting are, are doing it for the same reason. They went on a date with somebody and maybe they had a, a good time, but they just saw certain things or heard certain things that made them realize this wasn't the person for them. And then they ghost, you know, hey, you, they might have gone on a date and realized their political values don't match. Or, you know, I went on a date one time with a woman where I, we had a really great date. The, the chemistry was there. The vibe was there. But she mentioned during the course of the date that people in her family had had twins and she wanted to have twins. And I had just gotten a vasectomy. So I knew this is going to work out. So I, I didn't ask her out after that. But like, I wasn't trying to be mean. I just knew that like, based on what we talked about during the course of the date, that this wasn't going to be the person for me. So you can't be like, well, I only ghosted them because characteristics, but these other people, these women that are ghosting, boo on them. They're doing the exact same thing you are, right? But more to the point, this thing where it says, um, how are you going to say you like them, then ghost, then try to come back? It doesn't make sense. Well, for one, not everything in dating is going to make sense, but I can actually make sense of this. So there are a plethora of reasons why a woman would go out with you and then ghost you and then come back. I have found the most frequent one typically tends to be is that uh, a woman will go out with you. And then usually what happens after the date is that a guy will start over texting. She gets freaked out by it or gets annoyed by it and lets it go. And then what happens is the guy eventually figures out, oh, she's not texting me back. And then he leaves her alone. And when he leaves her alone, the woman's like, oh, he's not texting as much. Now I have time to sit around and think about him. And then she thinks about him. And it's like, oh, I think I want to try again. And then they reach back out because what happened? Because when you were over texting, you were applying too much pressure to the situation, which wasn't making it feel like her choice to choose you. And women, you have to leave women space to be able to choose you and to come to you. So most guys I find are too over eager after one date where they want to try to text her all the time, call all the time, get her on multiple dates throughout the course of the week. And that ends up becoming too much. And most guys don't tell the whole story. Like they'll just say, uh, she said she liked me and then she just ghosted. And usually there's more to the story. It's usually like more like over texting happened or there were some sexual jokes said during the date that she didn't find appealing or other other reasons that he's either not aware of or isn't trying to tell the story because as people, we like to make ourselves look like the hero. So we did nothing wrong in these dates. It's just these women are all crazy and they ghost me after this date for no reason. There's usually a reason. Like if I talk to guys enough and I'm able to spend some time with them in coaching sessions, I can start to see, oh, this is probably an area that you're not aware of that made her ghost. All right. So, so when that happens, when they come back, it's because they've had time to sit with themselves and think, okay, that guy wasn't too bad. I'll try to give him another shot. And what happens is these girls reach back out, gives him another shot. The guy does the same stuff he was doing before where he's calling too much or texting too much or whatever. And then she's like, oh, okay, I was right the first time. And then they bail for good. All right. So guys, just be aware of that. And again, this isn't all scenarios. Some women very much are like, I just want the attention. Oh, no guys paid me attention this week. I'm gonna go back to that other guy. That does happen. But I'm saying in my experience, that's not a majority of what happens. The majority of what happens is guys do too much early on. And then once he goes away, the woman has time to sit with herself and they come back hoping that he's going to be as patient of a guy as he has been in the last few days or weeks by not contacting her.